Okay, continuing our uh, tutorials on basic shell script commands uh, and usage. And uh, in these tutorials, I will, in most cases, and if not, I'll, in most cases, I'll be using bash as my shell. If not, I'll let you know. So a lot of what I teach should work in all shell environments, but uh, I can't guarantee all. So just let you know that if something's not working, it may be that you're not using bash as a shell environment. And uh, today we're going to be looking at uh, taking a string that's inside a variable. I'm not 100% sure if I've gone over variables yet, but we'll quickly go over that uh, here today. Um, but string, which is a group of letters or words, um, and then we're going to take them all and make all everything inside that, that string either uppercase or lowercase. Now there's multiple ways to do this uh, if you're writing a shell script. And there's all these external tools, which I'll actually get into in uh, later tutorials. But uh, as much as possible, it's a good idea to use your actual environment. And what I mean by that is Bash has built-in tools, and then there's external tools. If it's built into Bash, uh, as long as it's a current version of Bash, everything should work on any Bash system, where these external tools you may not necessarily have installed. They'll probably be installed, uh, a lot of them, by default on a regular desktop system, but if you're working on a Linux device, like maybe a phone or something, you may not have all the tools available, but as long as they're built into Bash and you're running a current version of Bash, they, these internal tools should work. Hope that makes sense. If not, uh, <laughs> maybe I'll, it will, you'll understand once I show you how to do it. So. First thing we're going to do is going to create a variable. Now, a variable is just like in elementary school math, uh, where you had like the letter x and x represented a number, so like x equals 10. And at that point, anywhere in an equation where x is, uh, you know that x has the value of 10. You can always just replace x with 10. Uh, so we're going to do that here, uh, and I'm going to say x equals, and inside quotations, I'm going to say hello world. Now, your variable name, which in this case is x could be pretty much anything you want within reason. So it doesn't have to be one letter, it could be a whole word. You want to avoid special characters and spaces and stuff like that, but within reason you can use whatever you like and it's a good idea to name them so that you know what that variable represents. Um, but I'm just going to say x equals hello world. Now in previous tutorials we said you could echo and then quotations type hello world and hit enter and it will print out on the screen hello world. Um, but since we created the variable, we can use that variable. We can say echo the variable x. Now, if we just put an x in here, it's obviously just going to print out the letter x. To tell Bash or your shell that uh, this is a variable we're using and not the letter x, we're going to say dollar sign x. So echo dollar sign x, and we get hello world because, oops, because as we said earlier, the variable x equals hello world. So that's fine and dandy. We have hello world with a capital H and a capital W, but let's say we want to make everything in it uppercase. Uh, once again, there's a number of ways to do this, but as long as you're using bash, I believe 4.0 or higher, what you can do is say echo, and then between the dollar sign and the x, put these uh, squiggly braces, and then to convert that, uh, or print it out as all uppercase, we can say uh, the little caret symbol twice. So we'll hit enter there, and we got echo, and we echoed out hello world, but as you can see, unlike before, which had some uppercase and lowercase, everything in this is now uppercase. Going the other way, and also I want to show you that if you echo out x again, we have not changed the value of x, we just displayed it differently, but the value of x is still hello world with the capital H and capital W and the rest of it lowercase. Now, just like before, but instead of the carrots, we just do commas. So two commas, we can go echo, and then inside our quotations, uh, dollar sign saying this is a variable, and then the braces saying we're going to do special, something special with this variable of x, and we're going comma, comma, we hit enter, and now you can see that we've echoed out hello world, all lowercase. Um, and once again, if we just echo out dollar sign x, we get the original hello world with the capital H and capital W and the rest lowercase, because at no point in this have we changed the value of x. We're just displaying it differently. Also, I mentioned in previous tutorials uh, that you have a history when you're working in the shell, unless it's disabled, uh, and you can uh, use your arrow keys of up and down to go through previous commands. So that saves you a little bit of time in typing. 
So I thought I'd go over this because uh, in the next few tutorials, we're going to start going over writing uh, scripts. Uh, and we're going to do things with uh, if-then statements and while loops and stuff like that. And um, I'm going to be using this little technique of changing how the variable is displayed uh, within that. So I wanted to get this out of the way, but I had people asking for if-then statements, which is the next logical place to go uh, in learning. Uh, so look forward to that uh, coming up next couple days, most likely. So I thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. Should be a link in the description. Uh, and I just hope that you enjoy my tutorials, and there'll be more to come. Be sure to subscribe. And if you're liking these uh, Bash Basic tutorials, uh, give this video a thumbs up so I know. Thanks again. Have a great day.